Hello, good afternoon or good evening, everyone. Hi. Good evening. Yeah, you guys can unmute and you can turn on your cameras. This is a Q and A, so it's not it's not a webinar. <laughs> It'll be a little informal. Someone else in the waiting room. Let me let them in. Okay. So how are you guys doing? Pretty good. Happy it's spring break. Yes. <laughs> okay. it's tomorrow is it work day? Well, so, yeah, so opted out tomorrow. Good. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I know you I know you need it. Okay. All right. So let's get started so we can get the most out of the time that we have, because we're only going to do an hour instead of two hours, um, which we initially planned. Uh, so let's let's just go ahead and, and get started with your questions, um, because this is more of a QA. and I, I can definitely show you how to do things, but I'll need to know what I need to show you. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm sure all of you are on different um, in, in different stages of creating your portfolio. So you may need to see different things. Um, can I go? Okay. Yeah. So I, I completely forgot about OneNote, but I did my whole portfolio on Word. And so now how do I, because when I tried uploading it to OneNote, it was too large of a file. And then I did it again and it gave me a SharePoint link. Um, so I just don't know what to do if I have to do it individually. Yeah, you wouldn't upload the whole entire Word document to OneNote. What you would do is you would basically take each of your, um, each of your feats, your, your narratives, and then you would upload them individually to the pages in the OneNote. Okay, so do we copy the exact same shell format? Like we have like the different, like how you provided it, you know and what I mean? You're gonna, you're gonna have that exact same shell. Like that shell should look like your, your notebook. And what you'll do is you'll go into, so let me share my screen, one sec. So your notebook should look exactly like this. This is the shell that I am looking at from the teams, right? And so you, you should have everything set up just like this, where you um, copied over the sections in the way that I showed you in the getting started page. So you have everything copied over. Of course, this is all your information here. So Ashley, what you have to do is just, you're going to individually add everything that you have in your Word doc. Right. So, um, you know, you know, you you'll put your submission sheet, you'll upload your documentation of accomplished practices, that form, whatever that is. And when when you get to the feeps, to the narratives, this is where it's going to get kind of clunky. Right. Because you have a full word document, probably with like 100 pages. You're not going to upload all 100 pages. You're going to have to go to each of these pages here. So like. If, if it's FEEP 1A, so I'm going to go to FEEP 1A, and so this should just be your, uh, your, this is your narrative. So here's what I suggest. What you can do is just copy and paste. Instead of having to like upload each page, like you're going to have to resave each page. Don't do that. Just copy your narrative for 1A and paste it. When it comes to your artifacts, um, I don't know how you have your artifacts. Like maybe you have them as like, pictures, if they're pictures, you could copy and paste them as well. So you will just literally have to copy and paste everything in the correct sections. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> no, we're doc, but remember, like, I, I mean, I don't know if it's going to just be easier for you to just print out your Word doc and submit it as a portfolio, like in the traditional way, or if you want to go through the steps to put it in the digital way yeah i mean it's just a lot of copying and pasting but i'll just have to do it like this then 
Okay, and this is this whole shell with like the one A artifact one and two is all. This is um, all, yeah. This is all ready for you with the blank pages, and all you have to do is. Um, so let let me go back to the general channel here. So when I go to the general channel, it tells you where like what to do. So you're gonna go to um, open up the class notebook up here. You're gonna go to getting started. So right here, when I open up this class notebook. I'm going to go into the content library and go you have to follow these steps because the these steps get you started before you actually do the show so it's just taking a little time so here when i go into the the getting started under content library i have six steps that i need to take right the first step is to create your one note so you're going to create your one note are any of you charter schools okay so yeah. uh, if your charter school is your charter school, does your charter school have access to the date schools tenant? Because some charter schools do. Uh, you know what? I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So I, uh, so do me a favor. Yeah. Reply just don't reply all, but just reply to me and Roxy in that email that, that, that I sent or that Roxy reminded you of today. If you're a charter, reply just to me and Roxy, not to everybody. To okay. let me get your charter because I have a different link. Since you're not in date schools, you'll need the you're gonna get the shell, but you're gonna get it from my personal, my personal um Office 365, not the date schools 365. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll do that right now. So if, if your charter reply just to me and Roxy to say that you're charter and you're asking for the the, the notebook for charter schools. Okay. okay. Okay, so you'll create your OneNote. You'll create your OneNote following the steps here. Okay, these are the steps for Charter. So for Charter, you still have to create your OneNote, but you're doing it in a different way. You're gonna do it like via like a personal OneNote, not unless you're or well, you have to do it through personal because I don't know if your if your Charter organization will allow guests to view the OneNote. So just do it personal. So and, follow uh, the steps. And, and I'm sorry, but let. Make something clear. So um, basically, I would get um, I would get a different link that I can just basically use to insert my stuff in there because I, yeah. I basically put um, like I already finished my portfolio. I have like the the one note, but obviously it doesn't look like this. So I'm just gonna have to transfer everything over, just like um, yeah. I told Ashley. Yes, you're going to get the same exact looking portfolio. You're just going to access it in a different way mm -hmm. because you can't access it through date schools. So I'm actually just going to send you this email right here. And this is the link to the portfolio. Okay. It's, it's just going to come from my personal, my personal OneDrive versus the date schools OneDrive because you don't have access in the date schools tenant because you're charter. You're, you're a guest outside of the organization. Okay. And you cannot view the, you, you won't be able to edit basically, like copy the sections. And when I give you the the uh, one from my personal, you'd be able to copy the sections. Okay. And and the email, I'm sorry, but the, the email that you're referring to is the one where, uh, you know, you sent like the, you know, the meeting, the meeting time and everything. Is that and it? Or just reply to me and copy Roxy and just tell me that you're charter and you're asking for the link. That's it. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So, um, so when I go to my Microsoft Outlook and I click, like, as if I'm going to Teams, I clicked one note and this is not where you're at right now, right? You're in Teams. Yeah, right now you should be, so I'm I'm in Teams, I'm in the notebook in Teams, right? So I, I went to Office 365 and from my Office 365, I clicked Teams and then it opened up and I joined the team that said um, Mint 2.0 DP Digital Portfolio Completers class, this one right here. So Ashley, do you have that? So I guess, uh, no, I'm. I have um, Mint 2.0 portfolio resources, but not not this one. Not this one. Okay, maybe Roxy just invited you to the wrong one. So let me, Ashley. What's your ID? It's probably easy to find your ID. Three two seven seven six two. 
maybe under, yeah, there you go. Is there anyone else on the call that does not have access to the one that says Mint 2.0 Digital DP Completers class? Yes, can I be added as well? Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm not, I don't. Okay, one at a time, just tell me your ID number so I can add you. Yes, it's 327. Mm -hmm. 628. Thank you. Okay, next. Okay, I'm a 307139. Anybody else? Uh, 958-835. Wait, I'm sorry, um, because I'm, I was checking teams right now. So I'm part of the main component of affordable resource PLC. That's not the same one as the one that you're doing right now. And this one right now is different. This, is, this, this one is the most current one. Okay, okay, so then can you please add me too? Yeah, what is your ID? 302-598. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, me, me too, Michelle. What's your ID? Uh, 957073. 957073, Eddie. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. Now, the other one is good because, so what I did was when I, we first started a project, I, I created that, that first one the resources one, just for anybody who, whether you're completing it or not. And that one was just a resource for, for anybody in the program, just to see like, you know, what the artifact examples look like. It was just a resource, but if you're actually completing it, there are more things here, like the shell is here. Like, um, I believe I even have a recording in here of a session that I did last time, meeting recording from 320, right? And so, there's just more things added to this one because this is actually for you. So what I'll do is I'll just remind Roxy to add anyone who's actually completing to this course. So you see everything in this section here. Okay. All right. So um, Ashley, so I'll go back to hey, you. Hi, sorry to disrupt. I put my ID on the chat. I don't have the chat open, so you'll have to give me your ID out loud. Okay. Three, two, eight, one, seven, one. Okay, so Scott Skyrie, is that right? Yes. All right, no problem. Anyone else? That is in the, if you put it in the chat, I'm not seeing the chat because I don't have it open. Uh, can I? Can I? There's somebody else that put it on the chat. Three, two, six. Can you add me? Two, nine, four. Okay, one second. So there are a couple of people that are coming in late from the waiting room. Okay, let me just open up the chat. Um, Mauricio, are you still, are you able to hear anything or are you, you might want to just- Yeah, I'm, I'm just in a very loud place. I can't really talk. Got it. Okay, anyone else that I'm missing that I'll need to add? I think I got everybody from, from the chat, so I got to check. Sorry, I just came in. What what is this exactly that you're asking for? Okay, I am asking for if you want to be added to the team for the digital portfolio completers. You already have access to the resources, but this team it has um, more information, more more information about the portfolio, and there is a video recording. So if you this is the one that I am going to refer to in this particular meeting today. So if you would like to be added to this, you give me your ID number. Perfect. And uh, sorry for, you know, saying this a little bit late, but may I be added as well? So I don't, so remember if you're charter, you can't be added because you're not in the org. You're not oh, in okay. the county. That's why I have to give you access. Are right. you, in, are you even in the other team that Roxy added? In yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm part of a team's, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting information. Okay, so I'll try to add you. Um, I'll try to see if it, it, it adds you. Let me, okay. let me go ahead and add mm -hmm. Vanessa. I 
I have the chat open. Um, Gabriel, you want to drop your ID in the chat? I'll see. Sure. Sometimes if your charter is is in the date schools, um, is one of the date school supported charter, you, I can add you. Okay. But, but if if it's not, then I won't be able to. Okay. So and I'll put my name. Just put your ID. Okay. okay. And if, if, if I'm able to add you here because you, you have access to date schools, yeah, it looks, it looks like you're good here. So you don't even need the, the, the other link that I'm going to send you. Everything I'm going to do here applies to you. Oh, okay. Because I was able to pull you up. So if, if, if you were one of the charter schools that's not supported, it would have told me that I couldn't add you. Okay. Okay. Is there anybody else that I need to add? I have 14 people on the call. Just drop yeah. it in the chat. I have a question. Can can I ask my question? Okay, okay. I, you just added me, but I don't know. I don't know what. I don't okay. know what. I, I, I'm gonna go through now what you do now that you're added. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, start from, I'm gonna start from step one. Okay. Okay. Because I did my own shell. Like I did my, you know, um, the documentation, then the the great the FCC scores. You know, I did like my my little notebooks in the in the one note. And right. then I feed one, and then I open it up, and you have feed one A, artifact one A, like that. Like I did, I, and then I, I did, a, and then with that, I did my link, and I sent it to my mentor, and she was able to open it and see the whole thing. Is that the way? I, I'm, so I'm going to go that? through. I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to go through what you need to have done, and then okay. you will determine whether or not you've met the requirements. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? I think I'm good with adding everyone that was that said to add them in the chat. Okay, so when you enter into this team, okay, it'll tell you right in the general channel, it gives you information like what the channels are and what you'll find in the channels here on the left hand side. So the, the most important one would be the digital portfolio shell channel, right? But before you even click on that one, I want you to go here where it says open the class notebook, right? Open the notebook, and then you're going to go you're going to go to the content library and you're going to go to the getting started section and you're going to follow all of those steps before you even go here you have to do that so i'm going to go into the class notebook here it's going to open up but i'm going to have to go into the it's not going to open up for you on the this page that i'm on it was just this was the page i was on last and so it's going to open up for me here it's going to open up on the main page for you. So what you're going to have to do is click the little folder. Uh, what is this? The little bookshelf. And it's going to expand the window. You see how it expands all of the sections? You're going to go under content library. And you're going to click getting started. OK? And that's where you're going to see these six steps. Your very first step is to create your OneNote. You are not, let me repeat that, you are not adding content the, to this class notebook in this team. That's not what you're doing. Everyone has a section. Anyone that I just added has a section. You are not adding any of your portfolio content here at all. You're gonna follow the steps and you're gonna create your own um, notebook. My images aren't loading. So there are images here. This is taking a little second. There, there, there they go. <laughs> so you're going to go to your Office 365. You're going to click on OneDrive. You're going to go there and you're going to create a OneNote folder that's part of your OneDrive that's going to be your notebook. You're not creating a class notebook. You're not creating a staff notebook. You're creating a regular old OneNote, personal OneNote, right? So follow these steps here to create the OneNote. It walks you through. It walks you right through, OK? Now, Gabriel and whoever the other charter was, because you have access in the Date Schools tenant, you could just follow everything here. You don't have to do the charter option. Eddie, you have a question. Go ahead and ask. I'm sorry. I was muted. Uh, it says my version is read only. Yes. What do you mean, the OneNote? Yeah, I just clicked on getting started and it says read only. Right. 
So it's read only because it's in the content library and you're a student in this class. None of this is editable for you. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get to how you're able to copy the sections over. This is all information that you have to follow these steps first. Oh, okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. So once you follow these steps, once you first create your notebook, okay, you're going to go to step two. Step two says you're going to click on the digital portfolio shell channel. Then you're going to click on the tab that's entitled digital portfolio shell. So remember the tabs are at the top. You're going to see at the top in the digital portfolio shell channel, you're going to see a tab that says digital portfolio shell, which is your template. And you're going to um, want to open that. So, okay, the it's saying there's also a shell here as well, just so you know, but I want you to get the one from there. Okay, so this is what your shell looks like, right? You're going to have your um, employee information, so the submission sheet, your accomplished practices, FTCE, FTCE scores, professional development, annual eval, and all your FEEPs. You're going to see all of these tabs. These are all going to be pre-populated with pages for you to add to. That's why it's your shell. And the only thing that you're going to have to do is literally copy and paste and then fill in your information and then share that with um, Roxy when it's time to submit a portfolio. All right, so we've covered two steps. First step is to create your OneNote. The second step is to access the shell. Do we have any questions so far? How do I, how does it populate in mine again? I Because I clicked your digital portfolio shell and now how does it go over to mine? Or do I have to copy each yes, individual I'm gonna one? Go I'm gonna get to that. Okay. Okay. All right, any questions on steps one, two, and three? One and two, sorry, I haven't gotten to three yet. <laughs> one at a time. Okay, I'm gonna go to step three. Step three says you're gonna open both notebooks. I recommend using OneNote 2016, which is a desktop, or you could use OneNote Windows 10, which is the one in the, um, the, 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 the most current version of OneNote that's in the desktop. You're not gonna use OneNote online. You're not gonna use OneNote in Teams. You're gonna open it in either the desktop or the app. So there are steps that show you exactly how to do that. It's just that the pictures are not loading on my screen yet. <laughs> but if you click on it, you'll see it. So basically you have to have both notebooks opened in your OneNote, and that's when you begin to start copying the content, okay? So that goes to your question, Ashley. Once you have both notebooks open, you're gonna then be able to, and I'm dragging, oh, I don't think you can see this. I have to reshare my screen. Give me a second, let me reshare my screen. Just share. It's, that's where it's not allowed. It's only allowing me to share an app, not my actual, hmm, not my actual um, desktop. Okay, so I, I'm I'm showing you here. Um, when you have two notebooks open, so right now I'm in OneNote for Windows 10, right? And when I have two notebooks open, I'm going to have both notebooks and I'm going to basically be flipping in between both notebooks to copy the pages from one to the other. All right, so do you see how I have here that says, Michelle, I know it doesn't say digital portfolio shell, so let's just pretend it says that right? And you see how this one says Michelle's emails, okay? So let's, let, let me go here. Let's just pretend that this here is that first section in the digital portfolio shell. Um, whatever that, what is that first section that you guys see? Right now, I just see LCTE jobs and that screen. Are we supposed to be looking at that? Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> Sorry, I shared the wrong no the wrong notebook. See, that's what happens when you have a million things happening happening. Okay, I need to share and I and it won't allow me to share my entire desktop. That's the, the weird thing. It's only allowing me to share an app. Okay, what do you see? Do you see something that says like Microsoft resources? Yes. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so right now what you're seeing is like I opened up both notebooks 
um, in the OneNote Windows 10 version, right? The OneNote in the desktop, which is what I wanted you to do. And I hate that I can't share my desktop because I could show you the transition between going there and then getting here. I, I'll just show it to you when I get back online. But ultimately what you'll do is you're gonna have two notebooks open, right? You're gonna have, let's just say this is your the one that you create, this one that says Michelle's emails, this, just pretend that this is your notebook with your last name, first name. And let's just pretend that this is the one that's the shell, okay? So if this is the first section in the shell, what you're gonna do is right click on it and you see how it says move or copy? Click move or copy and then click where you want it to go. You're gonna want it to go here, right? And then you're gonna click copy. And so you're gonna do that for each of the sections that are in the shell, okay? And, and that's how you get the entire shell to the notebook that you create that's, that's basically empty, okay? So you're gonna have to open up both notebooks. You can open it up in OneNote 2016, or you're gonna open it up in OneNote for Windows 10, whichever option you choose. You're able to move and copy both. Um, when you actually click step number four, Basically, step number three and step number four, they all have pictures showing you how to open from one to the other. Okay, so here, the, the, it's just taking, I don't know why it's taking so long for the pictures to load. Let me do this. Let me turn this camera off for a sec. Sometimes the camera just slows everything down. Look at that. Magic. It appeared. <laughs> okay, so follow the steps to open both notebooks, right? You're going to, while in OneNote online, find the open in OneNote. You're going to click that. It's going to ask you, how do you want to open the notebook? You're going to click the 2016, or you really could click either or. You could click OneNote 2016, or you could click OneNote, whichever one you have installed on your device. You see, you see where I'm, you see where I'm at right now? Everybody good so far? Okay. Once you do that, it may prompt that you sign in, right, to verify your account, and you'll put your ID at dateschools.net and so on. So this, these are the steps that you're going to take to open it from online into your desktop. Now, the reason we want to open in the desktop is because you can't do all the moving and copying in the online version. That's the limitation of the online. That's why we have to open in the desktop. Does that make sense? Okay. So once you open both notebooks, and I'm talking about the one that you create, that's your personal notebook from step one, and then the shell from the channel here, when you click open in OneNote, you're gonna then copy content from one to the next. So basically click on the section, just like I did in that example, move or copy and then tell it where you want it to go to. This screenshot here, it looks different from what I just showed you because this is for the 2016 version, but, the, but you're gonna still see the same move or copy and then you're gonna see the notebook that you will also have open, the second notebook, and you'll be able to move each um, section from uh, the shell into your own, okay? And once you've copied everything from the shell into your own notebook, you start building your own notebook. What do I mean by that? You start adding content. You start you know, typing in your artifacts. I mean, your, your narratives. You start... Um, uh, adding your artifacts, whether they're pictures, if let's say you have videos that are artifacts, you could put them as an unlisted video and add the link, and then the video would actually embed on the page. Let's say you did a flip grid. Let's say you did a flip grid as a lesson and that's an artifact. You can put the link to the flip and it embeds on it embeds on the OneNote page. Let's say you did a sway and that's your artifact. Put the link to the sway and that's a, you know, that that it'll embed on the page. So you're going to start building your, your uh, content in the sections of the notebook that has your name on it, because you've already used the shell. You've already moved everything from the shell, so you really could close the shell because you don't need the shell anymore. Now you're building in the notebook that you created. So, so far, so good? Everybody, I only see like three heads shaking. <laughs> okay. You're going to um, add content. Mainly, you're going to use like the insert tab. You'll use the home tab if you're typing directly on the page. 
you, you know, you'll use your home tab because you're using the font styles and stuff. But let's say you have, um, um, let's say you have pictures, you're going to insert from the insert tab from the pictures, let's say you have um, a link a website, let's say you have a document, it's a PDF, you insert everything. Um, right there on the page. If you're inserting files like PDFs or Word documents or spreadsheets, use the file printout option. Don't use the attachment option. Use the file printout option. The difference between file printout and um, the file attachment is the printout actually puts everything on the page as a screenshot versus just a little icon that you then have to open up externally. And in order for Roxy to be able to see everything in your notebook without having to click on each link to open, you would put it as a file printout. And that's all under the insert tab. So, and then of course, once you're finished, you're sharing your notebook with Roxy, you're gonna go into um, the share option and then you're gonna select, you could select specific people, select allow editing, and then you type in Roxy's name and then you can share from there. So this is how you'll share from the Windows 10 version. This is how you'll share from the desktop version. And I gave you two screenshots with steps, okay? And you're gonna share with Roxy at Dave School. So that's once you're finished. And once you, you only share with her, um, she'll give you dates. Has she already given you dates? So only share with her on those dates, right? Don't share with her before, and don't definitely don't share with her before it's completed, <laughs> okay? All right. So get get go go to the getting started page the section in the notebook and make sure you're familiar with doing these steps you have to do these steps um if you don't do these steps if you don't create if you don't do step one then you you don't have somewhere to you don't have nowhere to put the content you have to create your notebook you have to follow steps one through five okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the digital portfolio shell um part here and you just, there's this information here that will help you, right? So it, it tells you what to do to get started. So how to create your OneNote, um, how to share your OneNote, how to open your OneNote. So basically what I've put here is the information from the previous page. Again, in another place, so you have it, because again, those steps are really important for you to follow. If you don't follow them, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be on the right, the right page, okay? So create your own OneNote go to the Mint 2.0 um, portfolio team and the digital portfolio shell, copy the content, and then upload to your personal OneNote. Everything that I just went over is what is repeated here, okay? Um, how to insert files. This, this shows you how to insert files, and then it this talks about the required documentation that you need to have, which is your portfolio sheet. These are all the things that Roxy shared with you on your orientation call or the orientation meeting that you have, right? Your, your, your printout, your PD history, these are all things that you should already be gathering because Roxy has already reviewed this with you. Okay, so the digital portfolio shell, I clicked it right up here. So here I clicked it. Okay, everything is here. This is all information. Nothing is filled in because Nothing is filled in because this is the shelf for you to fill in information once you've copied it. You can't edit this. That's why you have to copy it into your editable notebook. So you'll, you'll fill in the employee information, the submission sheet, um, all of these things you'll have to upload. So let's talk about uh, your accomplished practices. So your accomplished practices, you're gonna have that as a PDF probably, right? This is, you're gonna get your accomplished practices as a PDF or somewhere on the website, or let's let's do your FTC e-scores. So let's say um, you got a printout of your FTC e-scores. How do you get it on the page? Put your cursor on the page once you've copied all this over into your notebook, and you're gonna go to insert. And you see here where it says file, you're gonna click file printout. And then you're gonna, it's gonna insert, it, it's gonna insert it right on that page. Okay, you're gonna. I'm do still. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to. I already created my notebook, but I'm having trouble copying and pasting like the shell part of it. Do I'm trying have, to do you figure have, that out. Do you have both the shell open and your notebook open? 
In yeah, I put open in desktop app, but nothing pops up that says open pick an app. Um, you may already, your computer may already have it. Um, if you've done that before and you clicked always remember, you won't see that step. It'll just open into whatever app you selected the first time you did it. So it may already just be opening in that app. Okay. Okay. Because so yeah, because now I'm in like the my digital portfolio, and then I have the other tab open of digital portfolio shell. Actually. I'm going to I'm going to give you permission to share your screen so I can see exactly what you're saying. Okay. Hold on. Um I see your question uh who uh, I can't see the name doesn't come out fully. May we type our narrative on Word and insert? Yes, you can do that if you would like. You can type on Word and insert as a printout or you could just type right on the page. I was miss miss Ansari, that was you. You were asking that question. Okay, so Ashley, do me a favor. I see what you're you're doing. You see, um, go to where your name is. There's that little drop down carrot. Okay. Now where do I go? Oh, I can't see you clicking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> delay. There must be a delay. Hold on. Hold on one sec. I think my screen froze on my other. One sec. Okay. Let's let's try. So click. The, the drop down carrot. I don't know if I don't know if. Yeah, and do I click my digital portfolio? Um, so hold on one second because I'm still not seeing. I'm not seeing it. Okay, you want me to stop sharing and reshare? Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing it, but I'm not seeing what you're clicking. Like it, it froze basically. Oh, okay. Um. Sorry, let me turn my camera back on. Sorry. Do you see it now? Yes. Okay. So now I just need to make it large. Jesus, I need to make it bigger. See, all these all these tech issues happens all the time. Right? I'm so sorry. I just want to make sure I get this right. That's oh, what I'm I'm like. to, I want you to get it right. Okay. This great. thing is stressing me out. Okay. So the first one, um, Moiner Ashley 2021 digital portfolio. Do I click that? Yeah. So that's the one that you did exactly. So go. Oh, but you're in, you're online. You're not in the desktop. What do you mean in the? Oh, like to go to the app in the desktop? Yeah, you have to open up both from online and open them in the desktop. That's why you're not able to move or copy. Okay, go, go, stay where you are. You see okay. where? Okay, you see where it says "Open in Desktop App." Yes. Click that. Okay, click Open OneNote. Okay, and it should open up in OneNote in the desktop, whichever version your computer has. So you're gonna do that both for your notebook and for the shell. So open up the shell and do the same thing. Click open in OneNote in the shell. So here, uh, we're go in into the, the shell. Go into the shell. So do I go to files? So you're gonna go to one more where it says one more. Okay. Go back, yeah, go there. Okay, and go to, just click um, use the desktop app. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, X out of that. I don't know why I took you to Teams. Sorry. Go, go to site. Click go to site. And then you should see where it says open as soon as it loads in. Okay. It should, it should have the open in OneNote option. It should pop up, right? Mm -hmm. And so you have yeah. you have to open up both. Okay, there. So you see here it says open in desktop app toward the right. Yes. Click on yes. that. Okay. Open one note. Yeah. And now you're basically taking both from online into the desktop. They both should be opened in the desktop. And once they're both opened in the desktop, now you can start moving from the shell to yours. Okay, it's not so you do it online. Oh, That's so why. like right here. So like for example, here, there we go. Yes. Okay. Share, share your desktop real quick so they can see oh. because they're not seeing it. They're only seeing the browser. So I, I, I'm I'm happy, Ashley, that you had that struggle because yes. it's, it's showing everyone on the call that you have to do those steps. You so I would say here, like move or copy, and exactly. then 
Exactly. This one, copy. Exactly. Perfect. You see okay. that? And then That's the same thing, submission sheet. Exactly. Over copy. Over each one and you move it to your notebook. So again, following those steps in that getting started is really important. It's more than creating your notebook. You have to open both and take it from online into the desktop, move, and then start adding your content to your notebook because now you can edit your notebook and you can't edit the other one. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so one down, 13 more to go. <laughs> All right, what are your other questions? Okay, C can I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm freaking out here because I thought I had it ready and obviously I'm, I don't know what I did. Like I have, I did my own one note. Can I, can I share my screen too or no? Yeah, let me, let me give you sharing, Christina. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hold on, I'll let me find it with no idea, okay. I'm gonna go here. Wait, let me let me open it up again because I was closing it. <sighs> this is so stressful. I think I'm gonna print it out. As I put it. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me share my screen. Let me go back to the Zoom call. Okay, share screen. Okay, so okay, do you see <coughs> do you see my thing? Do you see I my thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know. Like this, okay. This is where I put like, let's say, the copy of my evaluation, right? My my scores, mm -hmm. my 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 PDs, and then here's like, for example, season one, and then I wrote my narrative. Yeah. Right. This is my narrative. Blah blah blah. And then these are my artifacts, right? Yeah. I mean, okay. So here's so what, what so what I did with my mentor is I gave her the I, I shared it how you have to share it like that. But well, what do I have to do now? Something else in another shell? Or what? I don't. I don't. Understand. What I would like for you to do, Christina. Mm -hmm. I would like for you to go through all of your feeds pages mm -hmm. and make sure they're aligned to the shell, just to make sure you're not missing anything. Okay. No, I'm. I'm sure. I, I'm almost sure I'm not because I went. You know, I know it. Feed one. Feed three. A, B. Okay. So if you feel that you're you're good and you've created it and it and it and it fits, it meets all of the requirements. Then mm -hmm. once you're finished and when it's time, you're gonna hit share and go. You're gonna okay. do step six and share it with Roxy. Okay. That's what I did with my mentor, and she was able to see it. The only page I don't have is that little one in the beginning. That's a little square that says the first one. The first one that has like the. The name and the certificate. Yeah, so, so you you would just need to um, just get that information from the portfolio and put it and add it as a section there since you didn't. I, I, I have it as a little as a little binder as a little folder there like another color. The bottom there. where it says add section. Yeah. Okay. Add section. And then I believe it was called employee information. Okay, so I'll add it there. Okay. Then you're gonna move it to the top. It's gonna okay. put it at the yeah. bottom, but yeah. you're gonna push it up to the top. Okay, and I'll add that little square where you, the little rectangle with the name. Fill in that information. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And my other question is, in one of the feeds, I don't remember exactly which one, there's a video, there's a link to a video I did once, and I'm able to open it, but my mentor wasn't able to open it. Do you know why? Oh, so what I would recommend for the videos is upload them to YouTube as an unlisted video and put the YouTube link on the OneNote page so that it embeds on the page. Okay. You, don't, okay. Don't add, you can't add the video like as a video file. Okay, because I could, I could see it in mine, but she couldn't see it. Right. So again, upload the video to YouTube. Okay. Get the, as an unlisted video, get the link from the YouTube and then add it to your OneNote page. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. 12. Excuse, excuse me. Um, add the video onto YouTube. How should we do that? How do you upload a video to YouTube? Yes, I never did it. Uh, you you could just honestly you could just Google it and it and, and it'll tell you how to upload a video to YouTube. It's you, you if you have a video you can't add the video so it's viewable on the page in the OneNote. So you're gonna have to upload it to to YouTube so that it it's viewable for the person for Roxy who's looking at your um, OneNote. Just like you know was saying, her mentor couldn't see it because it was not embedded on the page. So just uh, honestly, uh, Miss Ansari, just Google, how do I upload to YouTube? I mean, okay. it's literally two steps. Okay, thank you. Okay. Eddie. Uh, I had a question. Yeah, go ahead, Eddie. Okay, uh, Michelle, uh, 
Wait, uh, which one? Hear from Eddie first. Eddie had a question, and then um, yeah. we can go on to that. The Thank you. Uh, Michelle, can I share my screen with you? Yes, Eddie. Let me give you okay. um, co host. Thank you. Go ahead, Eddie. All right. So, okay. I just want to see if I created, if it's because I, I use a Mac, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm unsure if it works the same way with Windows. It, it will. If you use, you have to have the OneNote. Um, do you have Office on your on your on your Mac as apps? There. Yes, apps? I, I do. I do. When because when I try, I created it, and when I try to open uh, in desktop app, yeah. this is what I get. Let me show you. Can you see my screen? I can't. Yeah, but I don't see the pop up because you're only able to. Sh you're only sharing your your um window. You're only sharing the browser, so I don't see whatever pop ups are happening. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me stop sharing and share again. What open? Mm -hmm. Let me let me show it to you. Okay. So this is it. This is the message I got. Okay. So I see the. I see that it's open in the desktop on your Mac, right? Okay. I so this is it. Mm hmm. Now you just need to open up the shell as well. And when you open up the shell, you see the little book, the bookshelf, the books on the left. When you uh -huh. do that, you're gonna basically you're gonna see both notebooks on listed. Like you're gonna see Eddie, Betty, Eddie, and then you'll see one note shell. And then you'll be able to go into the shell just the same way that Ashley did and click move and copy and move okay. from the shell to that. But you have to have both open in the app that you that I'm looking at right now. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, someone else had a question. Uh, I had one, but I wasn't sure if this is more for Roxy or for this. I have a document that Roxy requested and she approved of it. Uh, it's a, if, as far as I know, it's requested of me and no one else. Where would I put that if it's not specified in the show? I know where it should go, Where should I'm not go? sure. Uh, it's related to my evaluation. So I'm thinking it should go in the IPEGS form. I'm not sure how picky she would be if I put it there, if she wants me to create a new subsection, I'm not okay, sure. So I would do, if you know it relates to evaluation, just verify with Roxy, where does she want it to go? Ask okay. her, be specific, ask her if you can add it as a page in the evaluation section or in the iPad section, or if she wants you to create a brand new section to put that document in. So give her, okay. two, you know, give her some options and then she'll tell you exactly where she wants it to go. Okay, understood. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, anyone else? We have like 13 minutes. I actually do have a call right at six, so <laughs> I have to hop off right at six to like hop into another call. <laughs> um, for the employee information, I know the submission sheet was like our first sheet of the portfolio. Employee information with what you provided, we just fill that in again. Yep, and that's going to be the very top, the very first, um, that's going to be the very first section. Right. Okay, and okay. the reason why there is a square above the name is because that's for you to add your picture. Okay. Good to know, I forgot about that. Okay. So, so add a nice picture. It's great when reviewing the portfolios to put, you know, I'm, I'm sure Roxy knows all of you, but it's great to see the pictures with the um, content as well. Okay, any other questions, folks? How do you all feel? Hands, ha fist of five. One, like I'm still like totally confused and I just wanna do paper. Five, I'm ready to go. Let me see. I see fives, I see fours, I see threes. Well, good, I don't see any ones. <laughs> I don't see any, all right, those of you who are threes, how can I help to make you go to a four today in the time that we have left? <laughs> because I don't want you to leave here confused. I still, I want you to, to know where the resources are that you can access and um, you know, what you can do, like basically to, to help yourself on your own, because I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be here after six, but you can email me. You all have my email address. Okay. So Whoever was a three, tell me, what is it that you're still a little concerned about? No takers? <laughs> in, my, in my case, it's like, how do I transfer the shell to the uh, portfolio that I just created? 
let's do it now, Eddie. So share your Thank screen. You. <laughs> We're going to do screen. what we did with Ashley. So share your screen again and share it. Uh, make sure you have the shell opened up. Um, all right, so do me a favor, go into the team. So, uh, okay. on, the left so hand side, on the left hand side, right where you are, click the, the third from the bottom, the T, the third from the bottom. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yes, uh, okay. but it doesn't have the team. It doesn't have the one that I just added you to. That's weird. So let me. Mm, what should I do? I'm with, logged as with my yeah, date yeah. schools ID. Are you are you not logged in with your date schools? Yes, I am. Okay, let me do. Let's do this. Um, go ahead. One second. I'm going to give you a code because okay. I don't know why I added you. So it should be showing. I added you. One sec. Let me just right. repeat my screen real quick. Thank you. Mm, and you're logged in through date schools, yeah? Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, goodness, let me bring someone down. All right, one second. I'm just trying to get the um the code so it just you can auto join. Thank you. Come on. And does it automatically save? Because I'm trying to save it on my desktop, but I'm pretty yeah. sure. Okay. It, it, it's syncing to the cloud. And so, yes, you're going to, you're. it's going to auto save basically. So when we go to our Office 365 and click OneNote, um, then it'll be there? Yeah, it's going to be in your OneDrive, remember? Because that's where you created it. So it'll be a part of your OneDrive. And when you go to OneNote, it should be listed as like the most, you know, whatever, if it's the most, most recent. Uh, okay. All right, cool. so Eddie, I'm going to drop in the chat here the code, and then you're going to copy it from the chat and enter it where it says join. Okay. Okay. All right. As soon as I can find the chat. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so try that. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. oh, I have to type. It won't let me copy. Oh, okay. I'll just call it out for you. So go ahead and go. It's F, J okay. as in J. Jam, D as in Victor, G as in God, H as in happy, eight, the number eight, and D. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Hallelujah. There we go. Yep. <laughs> All right. Go into digital portfolio shell. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, Skyri, thank you for joining. Um, just let Roxy know or myself if you have any questions, Skyri, okay? We'll go to Digital Portfolio Shell, click on that where, right where your mouse is. And okay. it should tell you, okay, see where it says open in desktop toward the uh -huh. right? Click on that. Right, no, go down a little bit more. Down, 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 down. Down. Right where? above the yellow, right above the yellow line, open in desktop. Oh, here, okay. okay. And then now you should have the shell open in the desktop as well as your own notebook. Okay. Okay, which one? Uh, it yeah, tells it, me continue, continue in browser or right. try lounge. Leave, leave, leave that alone right now and go into your desktop to see if it opened up in your desktop. So go into your desktop now. Um, so you're right now you're in online. Just like go into your desktop. So don't don't click on anything online. Go into your desktop. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it in my desktop. You're gonna okay, go show me your desktop. All right. Hey Abby, I'm gonna go ahead and make you co-host right now, okay? I'll make All you host. Right. Thank you. Fun on your okay, my desktop. Uh, <laughs> it's been this working. one? Yes. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. And then you said um, Patty and Jason are joining? Yes. Patty but and no Jason. Kessa. No, Kess is also um, out of office. Okay. Just want to make sure I, I know who to wait for. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Yep. Have a good one. You too. I'm sorry. See, I told you all I have a meeting at six and that the people are already starting to join. Okay. So uh, here it is. Go, go, click on the book on the bookshelf on the left. Okay, so it didn't open. Click it again. I know it didn't. It didn't open there. 
Um, click the, so go toward the right. You see the little carrot toward the right of your name where it says digital portfolio. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't see the notebook. Go to add notebook at the bottom. I don't think that it's gonna show, but we can try. Here. No. All right, so Eddie, the, you have to have the shell opened up. Is there any, do you have a PC at your, that you had access to or uh, a PC from your school, like one of the district devices? Yeah, I'll have to get one because the, the, the PC I have at home, it's really slow. Yeah, I'm also yeah. having the same issue as Ari, even though I have a PC, I tried well, doing that and opening it and it doesn't let me. I, I, okay, so I think you all may need to have the most current version, like make sure your, your, your office is, is um, your office it is updated, uh, but it, it should, it should open right in when you click open in desktop, it should open right in. Uh, the only, the only thing I can think of is maybe it's opening in 2016 versus the one that you're looking at and you're not seeing which version, you know, you're not looking at the right version. For Eddie, you don't have access to 2016, Eddie, because um, Mac only gives you access to this app. So mm -hmm. I would suggest um, maybe try to restart your device completely and like do a repair on your office. Like, you know how you go into your settings and you can repair uh -huh. and, and go from there. But it, it is really like just the way that Ashley was able to do it, where it opened up, it's supposed to open up. So try to re restart your device and like refresh your system and see if that works. But the only way that it's gonna work is if you're able to have both notebooks open so that you can um, copy from one to the other. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thank you, Michelle. So Mer Merle, uh, I would make the same suggestion to you as to um, Eddie, try to see if you could borrow one of your district devices from your school, like the, la the district laptops, even if it's just mm -hmm. the one Thing where you're just copying from one to the other. Once you copy yeah. it, it's going to be saved mm -hmm. to your, your, your OneDrive. So you can open it up anywhere. So mm -hmm. Eddie, once you copy those sections over, like on uh -huh. the different device, you can continue building in your Mac because you oh, just okay. need to make that move and copy that one time. Okay. My right. issue is also that when I'm trying to connect my OneDrive to my computer, because it's not, I guess it's not district space, it doesn't let me. So that's another issue completely. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole technical issue. You will have to figure out maybe your school tech or do a heat ticket or something for them to help you with that. But that's, yeah, I can't, I can't help with that. Because I was able to just get the whole entire template into my actual computer, but it's not linked to OneDrive at all. And I can edit it and do oh, everything. Okay, but it's so not you're, doing it, you're doing it on a personal and not a date school's one. Yes, it's okay, my own that's personal fine. computer. That's fine. That's fine. Then just do it on that. Just make sure it's not saving on the computer, but, but it's actually saving in the cloud. Because if it's yeah, that's the issue. It's not letting me connect my computer to the cloud. <laughs> okay. So that, that is something that, okay. So my, my second suggestion is if you're not able to connect to the date schools in the cloud, do you have, can you open up a personal OneDrive account and just open up a OneNote in that personal OneDrive and do it in there and then share yeah. it with me? Do it, do Probably, it that yeah. way. That way, you know, you're not wasting okay. time trying to troubleshoot. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Okay. Um, and one question. So when we add, if we have like multiple like pages we have to add and we just hit add, um, add a page if it's like not, several yeah try not to add any pages because ev everything is kind of organized the way roxy wants it to be in a way it should be so if you have multiple pieces of content for like one artifact has two things put them all on the same page okay and for like my evaluation it's like several sheets of paper so that would just like keep it under that one um tab don't add a page yeah, you don't need to add any pages. You're you're uh, you're you're inserting on the pages that have already been created. Okay. So you're okay, and the same thing for the feeds then. Yeah, you're inserting on the pages. You're not going to create any new. Let me go. The room, but might just have her picture here. That's a that's a good stand in. Yeah. Okay. That works. I think. Uh, Jason is joining us too, so we'll hear from you. Yes. Okay. I think he should be here too. How's your day going so far? Not bad. Okay, you guys have any more questions? 
so the, just to the to finish that the um feeps we don't add new pages for it we keep it under the feep tab we just keep going with all the sections yeah, and no, artifacts don't add anything okay. new everything is is when i tell you that roxy and i worked on this for years the to be the the way that it should be because that's the requirement there's nothing that you need to add no page that you need to add you just need to put content on the pages that are already developed okay thank you so much you're welcome okay all right folks we're at time and do you all have any final questions before we exit no thank you and no good did you move up to a four thank you <laughs> four or five Four to five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when I when I get this recording processed, I will add it to that team. Okay. When I get it processed, and that way you will see it on the on the first page, and you can rewatch it if you need to rewatch it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Good luck. Happy spring break. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.